This video is about the different approaches used to fight banana xanthomonas wilt disease, or BXW, in the Great Lakes region of East and Central Africa. BXW affects all banana varieties grown, and it is present in Rwanda, Burundi, the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, and Uganda. In each of these countries, banana is an important source of food and income. Livelihood studies show that BXW has already caused millions of dollars in crop losses. For some farmers, the causes and symptoms of BXW are already well known. In this video, we will discuss the main strategies and approaches that can be used to fight BXW disease. The strategy we are using for increase of uh, banana production and also controlling this uh, BXW is that through a strong and aggressive uh, public campaign where uh, through talk show on radios, on uh, national radio, local radios, that we get time to discuss with farmers and we have a live talk that farmers can ask many questions uh, and also give uh, guidelines on how to control this disease. birumvikana ko rero iyo ndwara bitewe n'ububi bwayo nanone twahise dufata ingamba icyambere cyabaye nuko habayemo amahugurwa given the devastating nature of the disease it was clear that we needed appropriate control strategies first we trained our staff working with banana using written guidelines with pictures so the guidelines and practices could be better understood ndetse dukoresha namashusho kugira ngo uko inyigisho zishobora kumvikana ndetse uko twanigishaga ibyo ndwara yarageze mu karere it was necessary for local leaders, trainers and farmers to meet in the plantations to clearly demonstrate how the disease is spread and how it can be controlled. Because the disease spreads very fast through insect vectors, it was necessary to use a community work approach so that farmers could uproot diseased plants quickly. In order for BXW to be dealt with, the first thing we did was to follow the programs on the radio. We involved leaders at village and sector level, and the area agronomists and the local leaders often held meetings with us on ways to fight BXW. We followed all the directions given to us. Sometimes we would be sleeping and would hear the radio announcements on BXW control. The second one is the farmer field schools, where farmers are trained on the best practices of control of this disease at farm level. And then also they go training other farmers on this control based, uh, of this BXW. These trained farmers then go on to train other farmers on the control of BXW. After we had been trained in farmer field schools, the devastating BXW disease appeared. We started farmer field schools again so the farmers could prevent and contain it where it was present. In this area, it struck like in so many other areas of this country. But because of farmer field schools near the farmers, and because farmers had learned of the disease, there was a high level of knowledge, and the disease was fought and defeated through farmer field schools. What do farmers need to do to manage BXW if it is present on their farm? The approach used to control BXW depends on the level of the infection. If less than 20% of plants show BXW symptoms, we recommend to only cut down the infected plants and remove the cut remains as far away as possible from the healthy plants. If more than 20% of plants are visibly affected, we recommend to uproot all of the plants and move the remains out of the field. It is also possible to dig a large hole into which the cut remains are placed. 
New shoots that appear should be cut on a regular basis. Chaque fois pour couper les repousses qui poussent sur les souches découpées. Because the corms and any roots that remain in the ground continue to harbor BXW disease, it is important not to replant the field with banana until these have completely decomposed. Wait at least six months after the complete removal of a plantation before replanting again with banana. However, maize, sweet potato or beans can be planted immediately after the removal of the infected banana. Single stem removal in areas where the disease incidence is less than 20% is viable with good care. But when tools such as hoes are used within banana plantations, plant intercrops like beans, single stem BXW management can be difficult. While complete removal of all banana in severe cases may be a viable approach to managing BXW, it is clear that livelihoods will be further threatened unless farmers are able to substitute different crops. And they will give uh, to farmers alternative seeds to, so that they can produce other commodities while waiting that the control of disease is done. They gave us seeds, they gave us beans, they gave us maize. We cultivated these, and after growing other crops for two years, we planted bananas again. And you can see just how good the plantation is. Lessons learned. Local involvement is very important for achieving results. The use of local trainers in farmer field schools can be useful, as farmers listen better to their fellow farmers. When less than 20% of banana plants in a field show symptoms of BXW, it may be possible to manage the disease by cutting down only the diseased plants. If more than 20% of plants show symptoms, it is recommended to cut down all of the banana plants in your field and replant with alternative crops. Continuous cutting of all re-sprouts needs to be done until the corms have finished rotting. While some communication and training methods work better in some circumstances than in others, it is important to note that these approaches are complementary. Public awareness campaigns allow the messages to be heard by many people in a short time, while on-site farmer field school training allows hands-on learning and farmer ownership of the BXW identification and management process.